Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Um, I don't know why I needed to say it the twangy. But uh, anyway, so let's continue on. Yes, let's go to the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now and see what waits us there. What? The... Tegan? Wow, he's pretty athletic. <laughs> so these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. Now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. Uh, this... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie! This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Ma mother Ma What's happening? Where am I? That's a good question. Oh, thank the Maker. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? Good question. Great Morden. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Uh huh. Um what did you do with Van Tegan? Here I am. Here am I. Ha <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me! <laughs> um... Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. You know... It was a fair deal! Father mm. is alive. Just as I want him. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. <laughs> Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? I, I have to say that um, this scene is really what shows off how the voice actor for Tegan is capable of. Because you see him, when you first meet him, he's got the gentleman, gentlemanly, refined voice. And then here, he's obviously completely out of his mind. Um, <laughs> all things considered, I've stumbled into a very strange situation here. And I don't think that Isolde is necessarily lying so much as in denial of the situation. She doesn't really see what's going on at all. But anyway, I came here to help if I could. To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? To help the Arl, of course. So you're a concerned well wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. Father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, Mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now... She'll repay me. I will. Oh. Oh no. Push them back! Aw, oh, crap. That should be easy enough. 
Let's make this quick, shall we? Oh, I don't want to take you down, man, but it's like I have to. I'll even take him down first. Fantig is not dead. He, he's just fainted. Arguing that. Connor's not responsible for this. Um. There must be some way we can save him. Okay, well, if he's not responsible, then guess who is, lady? I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. Jowen! You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in a dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Uh, yeah. That's right, and I stand by my decision. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. The Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. See, I believe Isn't that. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. Oh yeah. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Yeah, I love how Bantigan, anytime he speaks, he just totally points out the obvious. Anyway. Um... Where is gonna blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about any of that, sorry. Um what are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. I do not like the idea of hurting the boy, but Connor is my nephew. But he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires Lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Lovely. And I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, but I hope to see you on the next installment where we continue this conversation. Yeah, hope to see you then.